For the first time in history, scientists at the University of Florida have successfully grown plants in soil collected from the moon. The 12 grams of soil used was collected by NASA from Apollo missions 11, 12, and 17. Now, this study is the first step toward one day growing plants on the moon that could possibly sustain life there. Researchers used thimble-sized wells in plastic plates, generally used to culture cells, to grow their tiny lunar garden. The trial is a milestone in lunar and space exploration. Joining us now for more on this is Sharmila Patacharya. Sharmila is a biological and physical sciences program scientist for space biology for the NASA Ames Research Center. Sharmila, welcome. It's such a pleasure to have you with us to discuss this sort of fascinating scientific breakthrough. So what exactly does this discovery mean for the future of space exploration? Yes, um, this is very exciting for us because it means that, uh, you know, there is the possibility now that if we were to take seeds or, or plant uh, with us on our space exploration, uh, we might be able to use, you know, and we likely now, now that we know this, will be able to use material on the lunar surface uh, take regolith, which is you know another name for this lunar dust material, and use it as a substrate to grow plants. So you can imagine for experiments that we do where we can't take, you know, we can't launch large masses and volumes of things with us, if we can utilize things, you know, in situ in space uh, to help us grow things like plants, which are going to be critical for us as we journey into these new um, uh, places to stay, you know, back to the moon to stay and then on to Mars, uh, it will really make a huge difference. And that's why we're very excited about this result. I mean, I really find this so fascinating and it almost brings up more questions than answers because when you think about the moon, I think that is a very dry place. So how did the minerals in lunar soil, you know, respond to having plants grown in, in them with the added water and nutrients? Does that suggest that that soil at one time in some very distant past had plants growing it growing there you know that one is so that's let me answer your first part of your question i know there's a lot um, to break down you know <laughs> yeah that, and we're as excited as you are um so the fact that this lunar regolith material, you know, which does have various kinds of, you know, elements, you know, minerals and so on in it. Uh, but the fact that he was able to sustain the growth. Now, I should add here that the scientists did have a nutrient solution, you know, something with vitamins and other nutrients that plants need that we, you know, like fertilizers mm -hmm. uh, that we routinely use on Earth along with water. Uh, uh, that substance was also used. Uh, but the fact is that this lunar regolith material is very abrasive. It's also sort of found uh, in this uh, uh, mixture with glass, right? And so you think to yourself that this kind of material might be quite, uh, uh, you know, an, a negative a kind of an environment for plants. But the fact is that the plants and the roots were able to grow in this substrate material and utilize the uh, vitamins and stuff that were provided to them to grow. Now, one thing I should point out here is when those plants were compared to the controls, uh, which were grown in simulant material, you know, which is similar to the lunar regolith material, uh, but different, you know, it didn't come from the, the moon surface, the plants actually didn't grow quite as robustly mm. with the lunar regolith. So, but what that means actually for a scientist is it's very exciting because it means as we would expect that the that regolith or soil on the moon is not exactly the same as what we have here on earth, right. which is to be expected. But now the questions are, you know, how can we make it so that we can ha optimize the growth and maximize the growth of plants in that material. So fascinating, so interesting, so much new work to be done. Sharmila Patacharya, thank you so much for joining us and telling us about it. We really appreciate it. Absolutely, thank you so much.